Hello everybody, my name is Devin Ashby and welcome to this class in this series. The title of the class today will be Save Family Memories. So we'll talk all about how you can do your family memories and save them for free on FamilySearch.org. So as you think about saving family memories, again, this is under the Where Do I Start series. The first thing I want you to know is that it's easy to save those family memories and it doesn't take a lot of time. You can do this on your phone, you can do this in minutes really, and we'll even show you how to do it. As you start, I want you to think about these three questions. Number one, how are you saving family memories today? Is it pictures on your phone? Is it uh, printed photos? Is it, a, you have it in a box somewhere? So how are you saving them, right? And then in that same uh, category, right, where are you saving the family memories today? I mentioned a box. Are you putting, is your box your answer? Do you have a filing cabinet in the garage? Do you have it under your bed? Do you have it in Dropbox? Do you have it in Google Drive? Do you use Google Photos? Where are you saving them? If it's all digital, you might need some physical copies. If it's all physical, you probably want to think about some digital. Uh, ones as well. And then kind of the most important is who are you saving these family memories for? Is it for you? Is it for a spouse? Is it for your kids? Is it for your parents? Who are you saving them for? Uh, that should hopefully drive thinking about who's going to see these. Hopefully that should drive a little bit of your uh, reasoning for, for wanting to do this in the first place. So now I'm going to show you a demo uh, about how to save family memories on Family Search. So I am in the Family Search Family Tree app and I'm signed in on an iPhone. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go click on myself in the tree and then go click on the Memories tab. You can see across the top there's a couple of different tabs. I want to be on Memories and I'll show you uh, how this works. So I've got a couple of different memories in here and uh, some of them are old, some of them are new. Uh, I'm going to click on this one right here. This is my beautiful wife, Lisa. And here in the photo, we took this picture because we'd never seen shelves like this ever at our local store. Well, 2020 isn't a typical year. So we decided to take a, a pandemic photo of sorts. And this is what we did. I took a photo of my wife. And then we'd never seen the shelves like this ever, like in our lives. And so when we saw them so empty, what we did is we took the photo and then we came back and we added some audio with it. So you see there at the bottom, there's a play button. So you won't be able to hear this, but this is Lisa talking about this experience. Uh, and so it was something that was very simple to do. We took a photo, we came home and we just talked about it and it's only about a minute long. So that's a very simple way to save a family memory. The good thing about this is it, does, it doesn't only just have the photo, but it also has the voice attached as well. Let me show you another thing you can do. We took a trip uh, some time ago and went back east as a family to Virginia. What we did here is we took some photos and you can attach more than one photo in a story. And the whole time we were on this trip, I had my phone and I would ask my kids, five of them, we have five kids, I would ask them, what are you learning? And what we did is I took those notes from that trip and I came back uh, home when we were done and home and I made a story about it. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. Down at the bottom, our five-year-old son, Jensen, he said, the Lincoln Memorial is still here. And he said, there's humidity. He learned what that was for the first time. Eden said that she likes bikes. That's the way to go back east and that there's lots of squirrels. Bradley said, frog legs are good and they taste like chicken. Our other daughter said, uh, Humidity stinks and seafood is awesome. Our other daughter wrote a couple of things too. <laughs> North Carolina seems boring. It's not. Uh, we were blown away by North Carolina. Uh, we were fortunate to go out on the Outer Banks. Unbelievable. My wife did a couple of things and I wrote a couple of things as well. Uh, my wife learned that the Atlantic Ocean is warmer than, than the Pacific. One of the things I learned is that it's important to invest in experiences. So I just took notes the whole time we had this trip. And then at the top, we just added some photos to it. This was in Virginia. This was in DC. This was uh, down in the Outer Banks, which was gorgeous. And these were some of our friends. So you can see how easy that is. And uh, these are two examples. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. 
But the important thing to remember is that you can do family memories. It's not hard. It doesn't take a lot of time. You can do it on your phone. Hopefully this is giving you a couple of ideas and hopefully this gives you uh, a good place to start.